Okay, so I'm uh, Martijn Klepper. I'm from the Rosmus University from the Netherlands. I briefly want to show you the outcomes of a big European project that I worked on. And that's about finding television programs. So if there are any archives here that have TV shows, videos, or whatever type of multimedia sources, this might be of interest for you guys. I'm not a technician, by the way. I'm, I'm an historian, but was involved in this project for the user studies. So what was the aim of the project was basically on, on making it more easy to find videos. And not only videos, but also segments of videos, right? So if you now search for videos, you're using the metadata, great shirt, by the way. Um, but actually on our phones, there are a lot of cool tools that you could also use to find videos, right? So if you're using Siri, you're using speech recognition to, well, to get information. And you could actually use the speech recognition to find information that somebody is saying in a television program. And actually, there's also something called image recognition, right? So when I was walking over the, uh, yesterday over here, taking pictures of the Sydney Harbour, this Google app, Google Goggles, gave me immediately all sorts of information about the bridges that I was looking at, right? By using image recognition. So what we were trying at Access is combining these techniques, combining speech recognition, image recognition, and metadata. And we created a system, we actually created three systems, I'm going to show you the Access Research System. It looks like this, you can type in any query, so I typed in the word Balkanende, which is a former Dutch Prime Minister. And you get all sorts of videos where Balkanende is, is featured in, and we find this stuff based on the metadata and the, and the spoken words. Not that quite interesting, because I still have no clue where Balkanende in the actual video is. But then it gets more interesting, because I can go to, well, I can go to Google and get a picture of Balkanende out from the web. And what we can do and what we build is that you can upload the image, basically just like Google Image Similarity Search, you can upload the image into the access system, and it then finds immediately the fragments where this image is being used, right? So you see on the left the, the, the fragments, and this is the actual photo that I submitted. So you then go immediately to this fragment where this photo is shown, and it works quite well. Uh, I hope this video uh, works. So this is the, the Prime Minister again, not the photo, but he's giving an interview uh, to these two ladies. Let's see if it works. Yeah, there we go. And she's holding up a mask of the actual photo, and it, it, it really works. <laughs> Scary, uh, but magical at the same time. So this project uh, is, has ended. If you want to have any information, feel free to visit the website. The cool thing is we have an online demo showing how it works. I will tweet these things uh, right away. Uh, and we actually also have an open access version that you can download, and you can upload your own videos in there uh, to, to try it out. So please go ahead. Looking forward to it. Thanks.